her looks. I don't think I'll be trying that wire netting brassier myself just yet. <laughs> and now, over to Marjorie to see which topic her frighteningly incisive brain has hit upon this week. Hello, Marjorie, which topic has your frighteningly incisive brain hit upon this week? Hello, Joan. Well, we're all too sadly aware of the threat of nuclear accidents, the dangers of passive smoking, and the ever-present menace of food additives. But what has passed many people by is the alarming rise in cost of just one of these. And what is that, Marjorie? It's a bookmark, Joe. Holly. <laughs> now, I can read a complete novel in just one sitting, but some people, and Joan, I know, is one of them, can barely manage a chapter of even the simplest romance without breaking off and having to lie down with a tea towel over the lampshade. <laughs> and for people like that, bookmarks are a real boon, aren't they, Marjorie? Oh, that's right, Joan. But I would hazard an expensive boon, Marjorie. Aha. Uh, uh -huh. <laughs> so what's the solution? Please don't wave your arms about. Don't find the potpourri of stale perspiration and cheap talcum powder very well. <laughs> You surprise me. The solution? If you don't want to buy one, make one. So what do we do? Simply take last year's leather coat. If you don't have one? If you don't have one, just buy one. <laughs> Discard the collar, the main body of the garment, the buttons, and keep half of one sleeve. <laughs> a bold slash with the pinking shears and hey bingo there you have it ready to pop into your dick francis at any point in time. <laughs> but you've also been looking at foreign languages haven't you Marjorie? yes i have joan because there's nothing more annoying than reaching our holiday destination only to find that nobody understands a blithering word we're saying <laughs> but why is that Marjorie? Well, in your case, Joan, it's probably because you've got a gob full of tortellini. But in the main, it's because foreigners just won't buckle down and learn English. <laughs> so what do we do, Marjorie? Go to evening classes, buy a dictionary, listen to tapes? No, we don't, Joan. We speak slowly and clearly in our own language, and if that doesn't work, we start shouting. <laughs> So if we're having trouble making ourselves understood, turn up the volume and they'll get the message. Absolutely, Joan, but do be prepared for the odd holiday slip-up. <laughs> That's right, because even though Marjorie and Pedro are delighted about the baby... <laughs> Marjorie did originally only ask him for a ham sandwich and a small mineral water. <laughs> That's it till next week, when I'll be looking at maternity wear and the very latest in disposable nappies. Yes, I'm going shopping. And Joan, appropriately enough, will be investigating depression, compulsive eating, and the plight of the lonely middle-aged woman. <laughs> it's her day off as well. Bye-bye.